Hey y'all, well I'm in the kitchen right now by myself except for uh, Teresa and Eddie and Michael's sitting over there in his easy chair. Uh, but Jamie was here for a few hours and I enjoyed being in the kitchen so much with him because we were cooking out of his cookbook that he said is, is his favorite book of all that he and his brother co-wrote. And this was always a favorite book of mine too, because on the back was little Jack. He had a he had a, a play kitchen in his playroom. And I went over one day and he said, Guinea, I've opened a restaurant. I said, you have? Uh, well go and take me to it and tell me the name of it. Oops. And he said, it's called Rooster's Restaurant. And a, a fan out there that watched my show uh, played with metals. He made things in different metals. And he made and sent to me uh, a metal sign saying, Jack's Rooster Restaurant. <laughs> and it was so cute. And I mean, he did that for a couple of years. He was in love with Rooster's Restaurant, but oh my goodness, he was so cute. Uh, so I do love that cookbook too, son. So uh, we're cooking out of that cookbook for the last few three or four shows. And this is Jack's favorite pasta salad with loads of veggies. And uh, so I've started our pasta. Now, Jamie tells us that it, they use the wagon wheels because that was Jack's favorite uh, shaped pasta. So, I'm using a corkscrew because uh, Teresa said they don't make wagon well, wheel pasta. I don't think they make it, but I couldn't find it at oh, two out. different grocery stores. Okay, well. It wasn't even missing on the shelf, though. That's what It wasn't. Mm -mm. Well, maybe they've discontinued that one. So... Jack, uh, Jamie tells us to cook this three minutes less than what the uh, box says because we're going to cook in stages. We're going to add one cup, well, one cup of edamame. Did I say that right? Sometimes my words don't yes. come out exactly right. And that was frozen edamame. Yeah, uh, yes, it was frozen and about a half a cup of carrots. So we're gonna let that cook for two minutes. And then we're gonna add broccoli to the pot. And we're gonna let that come back to a ball and cook it for about one minute. So three minutes shy of the recipe on the box brings us up to the proper amount of cooking time for the pasta. Uh, so. I may need to cut that back up. I cut it down. It was boiling to beat the band. Uh, so, you know how in our cookbook, some of our recipes will tell a little story or something like that. And uh, this, this is what Jamie, Jamie said about this. He said, you can use whatever pasta you like, but we often go with wagon wheels because they're Jack's favorite. And... I'm good with it as long as he doesn't think it's hilarious to roll them across the table during dinner time. <laughs> so I can see him just rolling those those wagon wheels across the table. Um, so that's that's pretty much pretty much it. I, I mean, all we have to do is cook the pasta and the veggies for a little while. And like I said, next it's gonna be the broccoli. So that's been in there for two minutes, our carrots and our edamame. And then we're gonna put in one crown of broccoli. And that's from just one head, one head of broccoli. I have to keep stirring this because 
I almost didn't put enough water in that pot, did I, Eddie? Looks like the noodles uh, yeah. got to it. The noodles got fat, 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 fat. But we sure don't want that broccoli to overcook. So when we drain this, we are gonna immediately run cold water in our, uh, over our pasta and veggies so it won't keep cooking. Okay, you think that's been a minute, Eddie? I mean, the broccoli turned a nice yeah. bright green. Yeah, it's... the broccoli's such a pretty green. But you want that broccoli crisp in this pasta salad. When uh, the boys and I started the bag lady, I used to fix a pasta salad and people loved it. But after we closed the bag, bag lady, uh, we, uh, I found that we didn't make much pasta salad. But some people really love, love, love the pasta. All right, so there we go. We wanna make sure we get that all stirred up. I'm thinking I'm gonna turn this tray on it. That way I can cover more surface. Oh, I love the way that broccoli stays so pretty and green. Oh, yeah. Yep, it stopped cooking. Now we'll want we'll want to shake this out real good because we're using corkscrews. Water will get trapped into that pasta. So you want to not rush up the process of draining it because that water's got to find its way out of these little corkscrews. Mmm, the pasta's cooked perfectly. All right. So, while we're letting that drain, I'm gonna make our dressing, which is red wine vinegar. Oh yeah, sugar, teaspoon of sugar. Let's see if Jamie tells us to salt the dressing. No, he just said combine the oil, vinegar, mayonnaise, sugar, oh, and salt and pepper. And Jamie uh, recommends us using it in a ball jar uh, like you use for your canning because you can shake this dressing real good so it will, uh, so it will get mixed up real good. So there's a little salt, a little pepper, and in goes the oil. Probably add a little bit more mayonnaise, <laughs> but my sons and I don't always see eye to eye on butter, mayonnaise, sour cream, cream cheese. <laughs>
Whoa, that is so very good. So, so good. All right. I don't know that we're gonna need all this pasta. I may save some of it and make an Alfredo sauce with it. I love the edamame in there. And every one of my children just love that. When we go to eat uh, Asian, they always order the edamame. So I wanna make sure I get all of those out. So we're just gonna toss that in with our dressing. And we're gonna add some cherry tomatoes that have been sliced. And we're gonna add a cup of, uh, is that mozzarella? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, mozzarella cheese. So you can see, oh, how pretty that looks. And Jamie said that, uh, that sometimes they'll have this just as the, the main meal, but quite often, Jack loved it so much he would eat just this. And of course, Maddie wasn't even a twinkle in his daddy's eye at that time, because Jack is five years ahead of Maddie, five years older. But uh, Jamie said that he would fix he and Brooke uh, a chicken breast, a roasted chicken breast, and put on top of their salad. But look how pretty that is. And of course, you know how we always say you can, you can add anything to it or take away. Uh, just let your imagination run wild and uh, pick the things that you really, really love. All right, I want a piece of edamame. Mm. This is so good. Mm. Um, mm. This makes me think, why do I not make pasta salad? You know? <laughs> now the mozzarella. You could actually use fresh, you know, sliced mozzarella in it. Or you could actually use any kind of cheese you wanted. I think, I think fresh shaved Parmesan cheese would be real good in it. So that's it. From Rooster's I Kitchen. <laughs> Uh-huh. From Rooster's Restaurant to Y'all's Kitchen. And I know that little Jack is one of the sweetest young men. He's 14. 14 now. And I know if he was standing up here beside me, he'd say, tell him I send love and best dishes to Gimme. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.